Let's start by doing the straight run stair. Um, in my home tab, go to stairs. And we're going to set a few things here. It's going to go from the top of the main level to the top of the second floor. And uh, that's standard. And we'll leave it as a width of 1,000 for now. Uh, 20 risers sets it at 175 actual, so that's fine. And so we're going to run, set on run, and it's just the default stair. And I'm going to pick a start point. We can move it after, but I'm just going to estimate a start point. And as I drag it, it knows how what my run is based on the physical model height. So I'm going to set that up. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just make sure you allow room for the handrail, which will be applied on the outside of the stair. So I had a number of around uh, 200 should work, and that's 100 for the wall plus the spacing here. Maybe a uh, 250 with that, and on this side, same thing. Then we know when that rail goes in, um, it's going to be there's going to be hand uh, clearance for your hand, and you can see half our stair is 554, so we're over a thousand. Uh, millimeters in width so that's that's a, a reasonable stair and uh, everything else is fine it's a check okay for that so there's our stair and you can see the handrail got added on the outside so if we take a quick view of that with our camera click once for the start point and two for view depth uh, you can see that our stair right now runs up into the floor above but there's rail and we can change how that how that reads and you see we're going to have to cut a hole in that floor using the shaft command. So to do that uh, let's go to our shaft um, just on the home tab click on shaft and you've done this before in the uh, Autodesk tutorial. We're going to use rectangle to create the shaft. Now I've got the shaft set up to start from the main floor go up to uh, second uh, the, the roof so it goes all the way up to the roof and it's going to stop 200 millimeters up, uh, below the top of the roof so it's not going to cut out the roof slab. So that means we're going to get a shaft all the way through our stairwell. And that shaft I'm going to start with at the lower end. I'm going to start on the inside of that wall where the hole would have to match. And it's going to match with the top riser. And I'm just going to line that up. Okay. So I've set the shaft and I'm going to say OK to that. And so if we go hit escape, go back to our camera view. Let's have a quick look at that. Okay, again, starting from the bait from the main floor looking up. And you can see now that we can see into. Let's put some color on that. And if you use look. We can tilt up and you can see that we can see up into the second floor. And if we want to have a look from the second level down, go up to the second level, click on your camera view, and I can stand here and drag it down, click, and again, I'll shade it with edges, click on my view tool and hit look, and we can look down and we can see that and we can walk forward to that and look down and around. 